In today's episode, we have the madness from Mansory, three new models from Ferrari, a faulty Rolls-Royce Spectre, and a new Audi Q7 with liquid headlights. Mansory has built a crazy six-wheel G-Wagon. Modifications to the iconic car can be found in the catalog of any respectable tuning studio, but Mansory has managed to surprise even the experts. The company, which previously presented several variations of the Mercedes-AMG G63 under the collective name Gronos, has announced a new car called Mansory Gronos 6x6. As the name suggests, it is a three-axle six-wheeled pickup truck that eccentric tuners transform from the original off-road vehicle. Technically, all Mansory Gronos models are identical and equipped with 4-liter 900-horsepower V8 engines paired with a 9-speed automatic transmission. However, in the interior, one can let their imagination run wild by choosing the interior design according to their taste, various leather colors, carbon fiber, and any combination thereof, as well as a special configuration of the starry sky, which consists of over 3,000 LEDs in the ceiling upholstery. The highlight of the Gronos is its cabin, which features rear doors that open against the direction of travel to facilitate access to the rear seats, as well as the option to order an armored version of the pickup truck. The car has an elongated frame, new body panels, and a third axle, resulting in a length increase of 1,375 mm. The new carbon fiber aerodynamic body kit, additional side steps, front and rear power bumpers, a roof rack with additional lighting, and a winch complete the look of the car. The Gronos 6x6 is 250mm wider and taller than the original off-road vehicle. The pickup truck has a differential lock even on the third axle, as well as a built-in compressor for tire inflation. The production of the Mansory Gronos 6x6 will be limited to just 10 units, and the price is not disclosed. In 2024, Three new models from Ferrari will be unveiled, including a new flagship hypercar that will succeed the discontinued LaFerrari model. The new car is expected to lose the V12 engine and instead be equipped with a hybrid powertrain based on the V6 engine, which is already used in the road-going 296 GTB and racing 296 GT3 and 499P. The production of the new model will be limited to 599 coupes, which will start in 2024. The second new model will be the successor to the 812 Superfast, which will retain the atmospheric V12 engine but will be more powerful than the current 830 horsepower unit used in the 812 Superfast and Daytona SP3. There is no information available about the third new model. According to insiders, it could either be an exclusive model that Ferrari regularly releases or a special modification of the Purosang crossover. Rolls-Royce is recalling its latest Spectre due to wiring issues. The British mark has confirmed that 107 coupes are at risk, with the defect potentially affecting 90% of the electric vehicles produced. The faulty part is the grounding cable, which may experience increased resistance due to adhesive residue on the connector, resulting in insufficient grounding. Rolls-Royce has indicated that under unfavorable circumstances, this defect could cause a fire. However, no cases of fires have been reported. Nonetheless, official dealers will invite owners for an unscheduled inspection to clean the front motor cable from adhesive residue as a precautionary measure. Currently, the Spectre is only available in one configuration, but a high-performance black badge version with 660 horsepower is on the way. This new model could become the most dynamic production Rolls-Royce in history. Audi has unveiled the updated Q7. The model now offers new decor options, wheels, body colors, and customizable lighting with a choice of four different light signatures. This functionality is only available for optional HD matrix LED and OLED taillights. The engine range still includes petrol and diesel V6 engines. The SQ7 continues to be powered by a 4-liter V8 engine with 507 horsepower and 770 newton meters of torque. The crossover now features customizable headlights for the first time. The updated Audi Q7 offers a range of new features and options. One notable feature is the ability to choose the drawing of the car from four options directly on the multimedia screen, but this is only available with the optional HD matrix LED laser headlights and organic LED taillights. The base version of the crossover can be easily distinguished from the Sporty S line by its contrasting inserts on the front bumper, doors, and diffuser. 
There are two options for the single frame grille finish, black and black plus. Additionally, the Q7 offers three new body colors and new 20 and 22 inch wheels in five different designs. The updated Q7 comes with either adaptive air suspension or adaptive air suspension sport. At high speeds, it lowers the car by 30 millimeters, and in lift mode, it raises it by 60 millimeters. The crossover can also be equipped with fully controlled chassis, electromechanical stabilizers for lateral stability, and an active rear differential. The Q7 lineup includes the 45 TDI, 50 TDI, and 55 TFSI models. All of them come with an 8-speed automatic transmission and a 48-volt starter generator with a belt drive, which allows for fuel savings of up to 1.5 liters per 100 kilometers and the ability to coast for up to 40 seconds with the engine off. The updated Audi Q7 is set to go on sale in the first quarter of the year, with prices starting at €79,300 for the base Q7 45 TDI and €112,000 for the SQ7 TFSI.